How is it going, everybody? I'm Jason of Jason Drum here, and I'm recording this video right after the Rams' amazing win against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, let's just go ahead real quick. I'm just going to do a quick video here where I'm going to go and, uh, you know, recap all the games in the conference championship round. It's a quick video today for a quick couple games. So, up first, we have the AFC Conference Championship. This one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. Now, the Bengals started off very flat. They struggled, couldn't get anything going. Then, halftime came as the Chiefs were run running. They were up 21-10, up 11. But then the Chiefs decided to fall flat and let the Bengals run all over them. So, the Bengals ended up barely escaping. The Chiefs, whew, tough loss for them. The kitty went meow. And I was actually a bit concerned after the kitty went meow because I'm like, yeah, the Bengals have only played the 49ers in the Super Bowl. And the 49ers are playing against the Rams in the NFC Championship game. The Rams have lost. But yeah, uh, the Bengals, really good uh, finish. They're really a second-half team, which is what I'm scared of. They're a good second-half team. Uh, meanwhile, the Chiefs, hot start, and then the Bengals figured them out. They couldn't cover um, Shamar Chase. They couldn't cover him at all in the second half. Uh, the Bengals just did whatever they wanted. Now for the NFC Conference Championship game, we had the San Francisco 49ers at the Los Angeles Rams. Now everything going into this game was pointing 49er. The 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo is 4-1 against the, are uh, in the playoffs, and he was 6-0 against the Rams. So, Yeah. And especially since the 49ers have won six straight over the Rams, uh, things were a bit concerning. As the Rams uh, knew it was at stake, and the stadium was filled with 49ers fans. Thankfully, the Rams fans got loud whenever they needed to and got the clinch win. But everything was all 49er until about the fourth quarter. The 49ers were up 17-7 to at the start of the fourth. Then the Rams came in, got a touchdown. Stopped the 49ers, got a field goal. And then, uh, actually, that field goal came after, uh, what's his name, Tart, um, Joukowsky Tart, dropped a sure pick, which would have likely sealed the game, with only six minutes to go. But the Rams, or with only ten minutes to go. The Rams, on the other hand, kept on going and moving the ball, got, enough, got the field goal off of that drive, and then proceeded to stop the Niners once again and get another field goal. After that, the Niners... We're in panic mode with just under two minutes to go, 146 left to be exact, whenever they took over at the 25, and they went backwards. They had to delay a game, they went backwards again, and eventually it led to a Jimmy G interception, where the Rams ended up recovering a, uh, well, an intercept, they caught, they intercepted the ball, I should say, and ended up snagging the win. Now, uh, Blanton as well, Kendall Blanton, had a huge night for the Rams for replacing Higby, but Higby was injured. That could come back to bite him. Now, hopefully Taylor Rapp is going to be good to go, and they have two weeks to get healthy. So, go Rams. We have the Rams versus the Bengals in Super Bowl 56. So, yeah, I'm not going to do power rankings. I'm probably going to do two days' worth of power rankings this week. And then on, what will that be, on Thursday, I'm going to try to do a video about the new name of the Washington football team, as they are announcing their name on the second, I believe it is. So, yeah, uh, I guess without anything else, just don't forget to smash like, smash subscribe, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one.